Hi everyone and welcome to a new Unreal tutorial. This one will show you how to add a simple water surface to your Unreal level. The same process will include the maximum effectiveness and results that might not be that great if you get into water surfaces in general they will offer you a lot more option choices and variety but if you want to do something fast and effective this is the way to do it so as you know if you followed my previous tutorials this is a level i have been making as you can see it has some features of the terrain it has some foliage you can find both or even more things that i did on this level in my previous videos including procedural foliage and other things as well but for now let's say that we want to add a simple lake or better said a water surface to this area here that can be done in a really fast and effective manner first let's change the landscape a little bit and create a sort of an indentation here that will be a kind of a basin where the lake will be set or a pond or let's call it a really really tiny lake so to do that we're going to go to modes uh, landscape we're going to choose sculpt and we're going to present this indentation here so as you can see it's a hole in the ground literally and I'm going to shape it up a bit more make it slightly deeper and also sloping i'm going to decrease the strength of my brush right around here and add a bit more contours here Alrighty, so we have that hole and the next thing i'll do is the simplest in my view let's go first to do a little bit of save the simplest means of adding a water surface I wouldn't say a body of water because it's not actually a body of water it's a simple 2d surface that will provide you with that feel of a pond or a small as I said a small lake in this terrain to do that I'm going to go back to the select mode and add a water actor here now if you have the basic and probably you have because this is a basic tutorial the basic setup for Unreal Engine 4 if you search water you're probably getting nothing you first need to activate a plugin which you'll do in edit and plugins and here search for water and you'll see this plugin right here water few suits of water tools and rendering techniques uh, to easily add oceans rivers custom waters body and whatnot you need to enable it the install, install process will take place in your Unreal and from then on you'll have it installed and ready to go under Actors. And when you do, it will look like this. You search for water and you get a bunch of options right here. As you can see, there even are lakes, oceans, rivers and everything else. Now, interior lake would be the fastest way to do it or better said, the most effective in terms of the results but when it comes to effectiveness in terms of time nothing beats as far as i know adding water body custom simply click on it and drag and drop it to your scene or better said your level here it is here it is in the world outliner as well water body custom and here it is in your world as well and voila here is the same surface as you can see it's 2d only let me push it up a little bit further and closer it's the same water effect but it's uh, not an actual body of water it's simply a plane that has all of the embedded and activated elements that give it that water feel now i'll do something which is basically to present the same body of water again not really a body of water a surface of water water surface to the hole i made but i first need to enlarge it and i will do that on both these planes so that it easily covers the surface of my hole in the ground let's present it a bit 
more accurately. I need to enlarge it a slightly more here. And right now, as you can see, it covers all of the edges, even right here. Now I can also edit the color by simply selecting the body of water, as you can see, finding the material that's used here. Here it is, a double click will do it. And here is the material. Now to change the color of the same material, the simplest and fastest way to do it, as you can see there is a lot of factors right here, is to go to absorption. And here it is. Absorption will be unchecked because it's set, but you can check it and then double click on this bar here will allow you to actually move, change or define in some other way the color of the same water. So I'm going to go with more of a green and transparent color. As you can see, it's going more whitish and I'm going to apply these. You can change the color in any shape or form you like. Save it. It's going to take a moment to do. And from there on, here it is. The body of water looks a lot more white transparent and a lot less green, which didn't actually fit with the rest of my level. Now, the only thing I have to do is simply put it in place and adjust it, maybe push it up a bit more to the very edge. You see that's over the edge and this is above the edge and now it's right below the edge. So let me just check this part here. I should set it a bit more towards here, maybe sunk it down a bit more. So all of my edges, I can even extend it a little bit more and let's push it up somewhat here and there it is my body of water it's set it's in place and it presents a pretty cool option now I can com continue experimenting with the color here so I can go and set it more towards green so it blends with the environment something like this again save and here it is it's almost like it's back to the starting position but it's slightly a different tone of that green and it presents a really simple really elegant really nice lake that you added to your environment you can sunk it a slightly bit a bit more and let's see how it looks in the game the customary shot there it is and here's the lake in my mind it looks pretty cool let's see what happens when we get immersed in it you see there's even the glitter from the light source and a bunch more options all of them added automatically through unreal and there i am in my small lake it looks lovely let's see if i can get out no probably i can't the steepest part oh i can here is the exit point other edges seem to be too uh, sharp for me to climb out but this one works and it's here even when i zoom out and this is the reflection of the sun right here and i zoom out the lake looks pretty well and it offers again not the highest quality results when it comes to placing different kinds of water body options in Unreal, but in my mind it's pretty fast and the results ain't half bad. So if you want to add something like this to your landscape, I believe this is the first thing you should do and this should be the starting point for your experimentations 
which you can do of course many more things through the same plugin and create even oceans and many other cool things through precisely the same thing you created this water body custom object as well or water body plane so that's all for this unreal tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you find it useful and it is going to help you with your own experimentation of this water plugin which is really cool like the entire unreal engine if you did enjoy the video please subscribe for more unreal videos and unreal tutorials to come as well some podcast episodes and gaming videos i would love to have you around for my future content don't forget to leave a like as well and comment if you have any kind of questions or comments you want to share with me i would love to answer them as well that's all my name is ivica thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next unreal tutorial until then have a great day playing in unreal and bye bye